Empress. What happens to her if we succeed? That is unclear. I'm sorry. My love is still afraid to let me go. The Traveler called you all from your graves to be broken over and over again. An endless sacrifice. But that is not my purpose. Let me rest. Strange. As the Underbelly succumbs to this... transformation, it has begun to elicit a constant subsonic frequency. Is Kellis doing this to the ship? Through the pyramid, yes. It is breaking the Leviathan's bones to reset them elsewhere. So he is not so different from your god. From the god of our son's murderers. The Traveler is not my god! It is said broken bones heal stronger than before, but this is a lie. They are forever weakened. The lockdown is lifted. Prepare yourself for whatever we've unleashed. Zavala sees Hakim's face in these phantoms. And in you, Guardian. I want to see him. I, I close my eyes, but they're only flashes. I try to remember him exactly as he was. I try... I see his face too. Anemic and choked. Fear and pain I cannot stop. Then nothing. And I am alone. Forgive me.
frequency you isolated. It's almost like a voice, muddled in the dissonant churn between Pyramid and Leviathan. It's resonating through Phantom and Nightmare alike, manipulating their psychic connection to the darkness. It must end. We can remember why we lived our life without hating why we lost it. I hate my son's murderers. The god they followed. That it has taken you too. That's not fair. Live with your decisions. That and duty are all you have to hold close. I'll set this amplifier, Guardian, and meet you ahead. All amplifiers broadcasting. Isolation complete. Now there's only the severance. Zavala is ready, Guardian. See to your side of things, and we will prevail. I've reached the site, preparing the harvester. This mission won't bring you the peace you desire. Your devotion to the Traveler rewards you only with war and death. Never peace. I'm not doing this for the Traveler. I'm doing it for you. Your hands are pressed against a wound to staunch bleeding. It steals through your fingers. You are soaked in it. I knew when to let go. When to wash the blood from my hands. Do you? Guardian. How many pawns has the Traveler sacrificed to conscript Commander Zabala into its service? When it leaves you too, will you become like the Fallen? Guardians stand for more than the Traveler. We make our own fate. Blade manifests from the Harvester.
Don't let up, Guardian. Be brave. Dreadful blade manifests from the harvester. I wish I could step back into that life. Or that you could step into mine. What would I do with this broken man you've become? You teach me to heal again. We'd watch our scars fade together. Safi? I... There's so much. The years have made apologies lose their meaning. But I am sorry. You can only apologize for something that is your fault. Hakim wouldn't want to see you mourn. He'd want his father to be proud of his courage, as I am proud of yours. Hakim should know his father feels nothing but pride. That's why I trusted him to protect you. You've given me a lot to consider about where I put my faith. Analyzing the whims of a silent god? You'll mold those thoughts over into dust. There's not always an answer. Let go and rest. Yesterday I was too tired to rest. 
Today, Safi Hakim, I'll find you in my dreams. I'm glad it was you standing with me. Zavala should be commended. It is not easy to forgive one's own regrets. Another thread frays between Pyramid and Leviathan, Guardian. And yet I feel the next will test us most of all. When I first saw Sophia return as a nightmare, I was afraid. I didn't want her to reveal what I'd done. I did everything I could to save Hakim. I can accept that now. But back then... Guilt, like gravity, warps our perception of what is real. His death carved out a place in me. And everyone I lose under my command only compounds that feeling. Sophia knew that. She understood that losing him only pushed me further toward being a guardian. She knew that I couldn't stand by and watch the world burn. Because in her own way, neither could she. After everything we faced aboard the Leviathan, I'm left to wonder, have I made the right choices? I don't regret all the good the city has done, or that I was a part of it. But what it took to get here, what it's taken to keep it. Our minds weren't meant for this many years. Like so many other things, we have a word for eternity, without the capacity to comprehend what it actually means. When is enough? Enough. Maybe it's time to let go. It is done. Another of Callus's connections to the Lunar Pyramid is severed. We are poised to strike the final blow. And yet, I find myself unable to enjoy this success. It has come too easily. Only one connection remains to the Lunar Pyramid, and Callus has barely reacted. There is a piece of his agenda that we cannot yet see. I know it. To be this close and still feel as though it is but a mirage is infuriating. I will find the answer to our final severance. For now, continue your exploration of the Leviathan. Any piece of information, no matter how small, could change everything.
Conquering one's demons is a noble task. There are many stories of Cabal heroes who did the same. Now, they live forever as legends. I don't want to be a legend, Kettle. Too late. Even we have stories about the great Commander Zavala. Only we do not call him that. Did you need something, Empress? This is not a formal communication. This is a private reckoning, one warrior to another. I see. I fought countless battles where my life was on the line, won and lost them. Nothing like this, never as hard. Huh. As I told your crow once, battles fought in the theater of the mind and heart are just as brutal as ones fought with flesh and bone. We all bear our scars, victories, defeats, some openly with pride, some others hidden away beneath layers of shameful armor. This battle was the most honest of your risen life. You won. I don't feel like I've won any battles. I just feel tired and old. And yet, you still stand. 